Yo, this is Christian and in this video I'm gonna reveal to you how to master front-end development. So this video is for you if you wanna become a developer, if you wanna become a professional in this, uh, in this art of writing code, and if you wanna make more money, if you wanna travel the world, then this video is gonna help you master JavaScript, HTML and CSS, so you can do all those things, okay? So the first thing that I wanna tell you is that JavaScript, coding, programming, writing code, creating applications. It's a skill like any other skill, like pretty much anyone can learn it. But if you are an average person, just like me, just like, like the majority of people, then you can learn this skill if you put your mind to it and if you become serious about it, okay? So the first thing you need to do is to like really set a goal and a target for yourself to improve and to actually achieve the goals that you set for yourself, okay? So, programming is a skill like any other skill, like football, like basketball, like maths, like playing piano, like playing guitar. Um, so, with certain tactics, you can actually learn it and you can actually become a professional, okay? So, one of the things that I wanna tell you that you can do right away is to look at yourself at your code and start to self-assess and understand where you are in this journey from A to B. A is where you don't know anything about programming and B is, to, is the point where someone would actually pay you to write code for them. The first thing that you need to do is to figure out, hey, where am I here? Because if you are here, then you might have to focus a lot on uh, passing interviews. If you are here, maybe the only thing that you need to focus on is learning HTML and CSS. So you need to be self-aware and understand where you are. Because if you are learning things that are way too complicated for your level, you'll just want to kill yourself, right? Because there are layers and layers and layers of abstraction and knowledge that you are missing. And if you are watching, for example, someone that's building a, a a chess game or a snake game using JavaScript and you barely know how to use display flex like flexbox in general then you won't be able to to grasp that knowledge and you'll just copy code right so the first step is to self-assess and understand where exactly are you okay once you figure out where are you the next thing that you need to do is to figure out what are the skills that a front-end developer has to have in order to become a professional, okay? So the skills that I identified for myself and for my clients are the following, okay? HTML and CSS, you should be able to replicate any kind of UI that you are seeing, literally anything. So if someone gives you the Nike website, the landing page, you should be able to replicate it, okay? Uh, it doesn't even matter the speed of this stage, but you should be able to replicate it. You should be able to look at everything and split everything into boxes and uh, be able to copy the colors, the images, the font sizes, etc., etc., the spacings, the margins, the paddings, you should be able to do all of that. Then, once you get into the JavaScript territory, what you need to do is to understand data structures and events. Like 90% of your job is gonna be centered around data structures. And when I'm saying data structures, I'm not talking about data structures that you have to learn for, for the Google interview, okay? I'm talking about knowing how to manipulate arrays, how to manipulate objects, how to make arrays from multiple arrays, how to make objects from arrays, how to make uh, arrays from objects. That's what I said before, I don't even remember. Anyway, but you should be able to kind of take any data structure that you see and transform it into something else. You might be asking me, why would I need to do that, right? I'm learning all these arrays and stuff like that. Uh, from Free Code Camp, Odin Project, or whatever other things are out there. Well, if you look at the YouTube section here, you'll see like comments, right? And those comments are objects inside an array. And then you have replies to each comment, and that's another array with a bunch of objects inside, and so on and so forth. So if you look on the right of the screen, you'll see recommended videos that you might be tempted to click on. Those are, that's an array with a bunch of objects inside. So like you need to develop this awareness and understand that these data structures that you're supposed to be learning, they are actually used everywhere and you have to be a master of them and you have to become like a ninja, you know, 
and uh, know how to manipulate them and use them in your favor. The next thing that you need to know is the usage of events, okay? So for example, clicking, uh, typing something, using your keyboard, resizing the, the screen, all those things are user events and you need to learn how to use them, okay? And very, very often you will be changing data structures based on those user events, okay? Think about a to-do app. You have a to-do app and then you click on delete button. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna filter out using the filter method, uh, you're gonna filter out an array, you're gonna remove the thing that you clicked on, okay? So there are multiple ways to um, approach this and I don't wanna get into that in this video because it's not important, but these are some important skills that you have to have if you wanna become a master front-end developer, uh, front-end development <laughs> and to actually get hired. Another thing that you might wanna learn, and I'm saying might, but I'm actually saying you should learn this, is using external APIs and external servers. Like most of the time, I would say 99.99% .99 of the time, you will be interacting with a server because all the data that you see here, for example, on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook or on LinkedIn or on any web app is um, all that data sits somewhere on a database and the server is going to give you that data and you'll have to put it on the screen, right? So you need, you have to learn how to use that. All your applications will be dynamic. That's how we call them. They won't be hard coded. If you are just building hard coded applications like to-do apps, calculators, pomodoros, and things of that nature, you won't make it that far. Like nobody really wants to make a static application or nobody really wants to make one of these silly apps, okay? There are toy apps. I'm not saying they are bad. I'm actually using them in my program to teach different concepts to my students. But once you get to a certain level, you will be using API calls to uh, create your applications. Another skill that you might wanna learn if you wanna become a front-end developer and if you wanna master front-end development is planning. So when you'll get your first job, you'll see that you'll be working in something called Safe or Agile. And in this environment, you can Google what this is after. But in this environment, people will show you a certain task, right? And then you have to estimate how much time it's gonna take you to finish that task, okay? Or how, how difficult that task is. So you have to estimate this using story points, like one story point, three story points, five story points, eight, 13, and so on and so forth. Um, these numbers increase in the, the Fibonacci sequence, okay? So the more points you give to a task, the more difficult that task is. And you need to learn how to estimate how much time something is gonna take. Obviously, like the, the better you get, you will become faster with different things. So whatever it's a eight story point right now for you, in six months, it's gonna be a three story point or a one story point, okay? Obviously, as you are getting better and better, your tasks will become more and more difficult to a certain extent, uh, but more or less, you need to learn how to estimate your work uh, and that's gonna help you if you're gonna get a job and that's also gonna help you if you are gonna become a freelancer because if you become a freelancer and someone is asking you, hey, how much time do you think this is gonna take? You should be able to estimate or at least be close to whatever you, uh, to the reality, okay? So I'm gonna give you a tip. It's always better to estimate more time for your task and then deliver it faster rather than the other way around where you say, oh, it's gonna take me one day and then in reality, it's gonna take you three or five days to uh, deal with that task, okay? So these are the skills that you have to learn if you wanna become a master at front-end development. And obviously this list is not exhaustive. I'm gonna make another video talking about other skills as, I'm, um, as I figure out what else is good for a beginner to know. But this list is definitely gonna help you out quite a lot. Um, if you wanna work with me directly, if you wanna apply these principles, and if you wanna get better front-end development, uh, way faster than literally anyone else that's coding by themselves or that goes to a bootcamp. You can apply for a free consultation call to see if you are the right fit to work together. I currently offer a six months money back guarantee. So that says, that guarantee says that 
if I tell you to do something, you do it and you don't get any results out of it, I'm gonna give you all your money back, okay? So there is no risk for you. You either get so good that you're gonna get hired or you get your money back and you go on and you figure it out on your own. No problems and no questions asked. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.